All done. Now, do you think that indicator will benefit people? Yes. So why did you not use it at the junction before, Max? Because I was under pressure. This is the first time I'm doing this. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay, so we are joined back here with Max. Max has got quite an intense day today. Mm. So our video lesson plan or the course lesson plan, you've covered the moving away and stopping you cover junctions, turning left, turning right. Yes. We're going to keep this theme running throughout okay. today's lesson plan, which will be crossroads. Okay. We'll do a turning right, which is a bit more complicated. And we'll be doing staggered crossroads. So, yeah. Come again. So, what, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean to you, Max? Staggered crossroads. So, you imagine a normal crossroads is like a perfect cross. Mm hmm. What do you think a staggered crossroads might be? Um, where you give way to uh, individual direction, maybe? Yeah, it could happen. Yeah, because there's different setups, different lanes, different traffic lights. So you might have to give way to different directions. Definitely a big thing, which we will have a look at. Okay. The staggered crossroads just mean it's not aligned. Okay. So normally when you get to a crossroads, you could just drive straight across. Right. If you had a staggered crossroads, you'd have to do a wiggle because then the road isn't perfectly straight on the other side. So we're going to have a look at that. It's a bit okay. more complicated. That is what we're going to be doing now. So we're going to be looking at the crossroads. We're going to be keeping the theme of your right turns, left turns and crossroads. We're just adding to your junctions. That's all. Okay, You've covered smashing. the mini roundabouts, T-junctions. Yeah. Now we step it up to big crossroads with traffic lights. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, and then we'll look at the staggered crossroads. Okay, okay. so what I'd like you to do now um, is start the engine, please. So when you're ready, just go ahead, start the engine. Okay, and um, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to move on. So if you just keep the theme going with your self-commentary, anything you're thinking about, share with people that are watching, help them to learn, I'll and do uh, drive on when you're ready, Max. Let's drive. Good, so you've got your routine here. It's all good, actually. Mm -hmm. it's good to go. So let's start for it. Lovely. So it's nice. Good mirror checks there, Max. On your driving test, your examiners will be looking to see that you check your blind spots before oh, moving off. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. So um, what's the least dangerous side as you moved away just now? On the left-hand side. Good. The pedestrians. Yeah. Lovely. Well done. And most dangerous to write. So make sure you do those shoulder checks, yeah. look out the back windows. Turn right at the end of the road, please. Good. You remember in the mirrors? Well done. You want to get those before the signal. Very good for remembering. How do you feel about the visibility at this juncture, um, Max? It's very disturbed. <laughs> oh, lovely. There's a car coming here, so I'm just going to love it for this lovely young person. Lovely. All right. Well, well done for stopping, giving yourself enough room from the next yeah. part of the vehicle to move out. Really good. When you made the decision to move out, you checked your right hand side to see if there was any yeah. hazards. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. This is very important on a driving test because you will have situations like the one you just had meeting situations oh i don't like this road at all this is void yes so every test center will have a road like this and you just want to take it with caution so well done for your use of speed at the end of the road turn left good max has got his mirror checks in before his signal that time well done that's your routine mirrors first signal second very nice approaching speed here, Max. Very good observations. Nice committing here. So you've made your decision. No need to look back anymore. Just focusing on where you're going, and that way it'll be safer and you'll feel yeah. more confident. You've done your yeah. observations. You made your decision. You're off. You see the sign for Sudbury, Max? Uh, so, yeah, so going right. Correct. Stand the right hand Excellent. We also have a sign here for the arrows for the lanes as well. Yep. Good. So this is your crossroads, and we'll be turning right. 
So I wouldn't need to see because I'm in this right-hand lane. I won't need to indicate, will I? Because it's only a right-hand turn lane anyways. <clears throat> Let's hope I don't have a coughing fit again. I think I'm yeah. recovering from COVID. <laughs> um, don't say that. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm fit and healthy. Um, so Max, yes, you're correct. There's no need to signal because it's a right-only lane. However, who's hitting? It doesn't matter. It's never for you. Yeah. The only time you'll get a beep, Max, is when it's summer. You're walking down the road in your nice little tight shorts. And <laughs> now we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, the examiners will say to you, would it benefit if you signaled? No. So think about the pedestrians here. Do they okay. know you're going to be turning right? Do they know this is a right only lane? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe be. the opposite side, like this white van that's just crossed across the crossroads, crossed across the crossroads <laughs> to go to Costa. Um, he might not know. So you're totally correct. It's a right only lane. Don't need to signal, but it might benefit. Look at what Max has just done with his steering. Really good. Nice, slow, controlled. Well done. Good accuracy. So the point that you started to turn right was correct. I think it's just becoming more natural now because after doing a little bit of driving, I think it's just more you do it subconsciously. Yeah, it does become subconscious. There's something else that is subconscious. And unless I make the effort to show you that you're doing it, you'll probably never know. Very good with your speed here, Max. Well done for looking long and around the bus, looking for signals on the vehicles as well, so that you'll know that they're stationary. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, because sorry, all sorry, the sorry, hazard sorry. lights are on. I think Max is just getting annoyed with me now because I'm talking too much and distracting him. No, it's just um, that fan was just popping all the place. Just your, your dodgy driving, Max. Yeah, we can that. yeah, we can just say that. All right, now back to the subconscious part. Everybody that's learning to drive comes to a crossroad to turn right. The subconscious part is that they will steer left before they steer right. Does that make sense to you? Um, a little bit. Okay. Would you care to elaborate, please? Maximus? Um, I think it's... Well, well, no, I'm kind of straight here, but... That's okay. Take your time. Still a long road, so you might relax a little bit further down. Notice the bus? Yes, I do. Any indications on the bus? No, he was looking to turn out come out. He was. Now, if it's safe and you have the distance from the bus to slow down... No, I'm not then. You must. It's highway code. Okay, but so I've got traffic behind me and I'm a little bit closer. You, so. Then it might not be safe, okay? All right, so why do you think that you steered left before you steered right at the crossroads, Max? Try to angle the road, like yeah, angle the car to... Uh, I don't know. Man. Exactly. No one knows. I don't even know, but it happens. So I'm going to address that when it happens again okay. and show you that you're doing it. This is very important. Now we're coming to the staggered crossroads, Max. Right. Keep close to this line on your right, but do not cross it. So just stay where you are now. You can stop early. That's fine. Because can you see the gap here that we yeah. have? It's not great. So you can stop early okay. behind this car. No need to get alongside. Okay. See over here on your right where that gray car has just gone up. Mm -hmm. That's where I want you to go. So we're technically following the road ahead. Good with your road markings. Seeing the giveaway lines. Excellent observation. So this is what Max was talking about earlier. Good. Nice mirror. Always pair your mirrors. Well done. You've just completed a staggered crossroad. Oh, is that it? Yes. Okay. That's not too good. Okay. Okay, Max, what I'd like you to do is do mirror checks, slow down, signal left. Would you turn into this road here on the left, please? Sure. And I'm going to ask you to pull over and stop on the right-hand side of the road. Very 
Very good. Secure your car and relax. Well done. Thank you. So we're going to do what we've done previously on other videos. So we've covered a few areas and yeah. we're going to try and go backwards in time and just do a debrief and okay. talk through what you've covered. Okay. So the last area you covered was the staggered crossroads. Right, yeah. Okay. So here we have maybe a little uh, way of looking at this junction. So if this wants to move, okay. there we go. Let's bring it over here. Turn it around. Let's make it 2D. And whee! Staggered crossroads. Now, if you look at that, that looks quite complicated. Very it? complicated. You came from this bottom part here. Right. And you came up here. Okay. But you see it's not aligned. Yeah, yeah, and no, I, I, I see after. So when you first said it to me, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really have much of an idea what it looked like. But then approaching the road and then doing, like maneuvering on, on the road, you didn't even think, feel like you're doing like a crossroad because yeah. it just felt a little bit more fluent because it wasn't so straight. Mm -hmm. like because you could just drive on and obviously you had to check your, you know, the giveaway spots. But I mean, like for, like see, instead of just driving straight, like if it feels more natural when you've got like little bends and turns into your corners for me anyways. Mm -hmm. So it feels like I'm just driving along like a, like a residential area. Okay, good. So if you'd come to that junction and I'd said to you, follow the road ahead, would it make sense? Yes. Good. Because here's left. Mm -hmm. Here's right. Yeah. Here's straight. Although it's not physically straight, yeah. it's still yeah. given the direction straight. Yeah. Definitely. So there was two lanes as you came up to the traffic light mm -hmm. before the junction. Left hand turn and then... Of a yeah. continuation. Good. Did you notice the position of the other vehicle that yeah. we kind of stopped alongside? So from his position, being so far onto the left, where do you think he was going to drive after the light had changed green? Left. Good. Because his position tells yeah. you that. A position is also a signal to other road users of where you intend to go. Because if you're pointing or holding yeah. a certain side of the road, you know, it shows people that you're probably going to go there, right? Yeah. What was your position for where you were going? Straight on. It was. So, even though I might have been closer to the car, mm -hmm. but I was still indicating that I'm going straight. Very good. And then once I came past the, the keep clear, yep. um, I then indicated that I would be taking this left-hand turn. Yes. Well done. Now, do you think that indicator will benefit people? Yes. So why did you not use it at the junction before, Max? I was under pressure. This is the first time I'm doing this. Hey, 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 hey. You should have given, you should have given me a clear warning that we're coming to, up to this to this junction. So, I'm gonna strangle him, people. No, I'm just joking. So now we're working back. So we had the crossroads before the staggered crossroads. What I'm joking about here was the signal. Mm -hmm. Max said, right only lane, big right only arrow in your lane. Pretty obvious to everybody. You are going to go right. Again, your position tells people that because you're in the very right lane. Do you need to signal? This is a gray area. This is why I'm kind of getting a little bit like, oh, because there isn't really a yes or no answer. This is what's super frustrating when learning to drive and also teaching someone to drive. Okay. So if we have somebody that has the discretion that a signal would benefit people, and you don't use it, you would get marked down. Right. If you have someone that has the discretion that a signal would be beneficial and you do use it, all good. Yeah. If you have someone that the discretion is that a signal wouldn't benefit, but you use the signal anyways, would you get marked down? No. You would not. So, if you're a betting man, which Max is, <laughs> what bet are you going to put your money on, Max? Is it a maybe, a yes, a no? I would what definitely you indicate yeah. to show where I'm going. Very good. Just rather be safe than sorry. It's not going to confuse anybody. Yeah. It's not going to mislead anybody. It's, it's not going to be dangerous. It's more for the pedestrians, isn't it? Because they, they might not know. It's just Very the, good. The yeah. markings on the floor, so, or on the ground, yeah. sorry. So, probably... I, well, I should have indicated, mm -hmm. 
But then again, I also did think I was in the right-hand lane where I can't literally go anywhere else apart from turn right. Sure. So I thought I might have been okay. So but then I wasn't your... thinking about the pedestrians, maybe a cyclist mm-hmm. or whoever it may be. But from now onwards, indicate as much as... Yeah, I mean, you, you can't go wrong. That's mm-hmm. the only reason why I suggest this. Because obviously I want you to pass. The more You're more likely to pass if you do use the yeah. signals. I had somebody that failed for a junction very similar to that. They didn't signal, and that was the reason why they failed the driving test. So this is why I'm kind of saying mm, it's better to try and use it than not to try and use okay, it. Okay. All right, Sweet. that's it. That pretty much recaps everything you've just done, which was really the crossroads and turning right. And then we had another sort of crossroads, which wasn't aligned, the staggered crossroads. It's about planning early what position you're going to take. Yeah. Do you need to use the signal? You know, where am okay. I going to go? And it seemed pretty straightforward. Any questions about any of this, Max? Nope. All right, cool. We're going to move on to the next topic. All right. Smashing. So stay safe, guys, and we'll see you at the next one. See you next time. Peace. Right. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn this puppy around. Where are we? This is all dead end. Uh, right. So.